Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is my top 10 Disney movies for you guys. Now as with my Pixar movie video, I will be talking about some honourable mentions at the start. And I have three, and those are Brother Bear, The Princess and the Frog, and Basil the Great Mouse Detective. Now I've just watched these movies for the first time all in the last year. They're all very good for their own reasons. They are quite different, all three of these movies. I don't really want to talk about them too long because obviously I want to get into the top 10 itself. Brother Bear is a really good movie with an amazing soundtrack um, from Phil Collins who did, of course, Tarzan. Um, it's not your typical princess movie, obviously. It's about the younger of three brothers having to learn to basically grow up and in turn looking after little Koda. So it's just really sweet. Um, the Princess and the Frog, I love Tiana. She's super feisty and I do love a lot of the characters even though I can't remember many of the characters' names apart from Tiana and Naveen. But I love Tiana's friend and I love the crocodile and I love the... the light up bug, <laughs> the light up bug, <laughs> whatever he's supposed to be as well. And finally, Basil. I watched this maybe six weeks ago. Actually really good. Love Rattigan. Basil was a little bit, you could probably either love him or hate him kind of character, but it's actually a really good, enjoyable, fun Disney movie. Very underrated and I really did like it. The one thing I disliked was the little girl's Scottish accent. It was terrible. It was so bad. You could tell it was put on. So that is my three honourable mentions. So if you've not seen any of these, then go and check them out. Do it. And now on to the top 10. Now one thing I will say is I am using the classics collection for this top 10. So from numbers 1, which is Snow White, to 54, which is Zootropolis, or Zootopia, wherever you're from. Um, that's what I'm using. I'm not using any live action ones, so it's all the animations um, for my list. Um, anyways, number 10 is Lilo and Stitch. I disliked Stitch for some reason before I seen this movie. I did not want to see it. I had no interest because it was all tiny little toddlers and kids running around holding Stitch toys whenever I went to Disneyland Paris and I watched it and pretty much loved this movie. It was so good. It was so fun. Lilo is like a teenager in like, well she's like under 10. She's, yeah, She's like a moody, depressive teenager. Stitch was just so fun, and of course the Elvis Presley soundtrack. I also, in, I also really enjoyed Hawaiian Roller Coaster Ride in the opening credits. That's a really good, good song. I love that. I love that song. Um, yeah, go and check it out. It's really good, and I also love him. I can't remember his name. Alien with one eye. Comment down below if you remember his name because I don't. I'm so bad at remembering. All the characters' names are so bad. Number nine, The Lion King. As always, I've, I can't remember names. The bird's name. Please tell me what the bird's called because I'm just gonna call him Mr. Bean because it's Mr. Bean that voices the bird, Rowan Atkinson. Um, the song has, of course, the song. The movie has, Invaded by a Cat once again. The movie has classic songs in it, and I think my favourite one from the movie is Can You Feel the Love Tonight? Controversial. Not The Circle of Life, not Takuna Matata. I love Can You Feel the Love Tonight. I also love I Just Can't Wait to Be King, but I think that's because of Dreams at Disneyland Paris that I love that song so much. Um, the Mufasa death does not make me upset. To me, I don't know Mufasa enough to, you know, want to cry over the movie. But um, it's a really good movie. Definitely go and check it out. It's bright, it's fun, it's colourful, it's sad. Not to make me cry though, but yeah. Definitely, definitely check The Lion King out. Check any of the Disney movies in my top ten out. Just do it. My number eight movie <clears throat> is Sleeping Beauty. Now, even though she's not in the movie very much, I really, really love this movie. I love the three fairies, I love them bickering all the time. Um, this was the movie where you finally get to see a prince with some form of personality other than being a bit of a drip on the floor. And yes, I'm looking at you, 
Prince whatever from Snow White and also Prince whatever from Cinderella. He fights a dragon, he sings a song, he might come across creepy by grabbing you in the forest, but he at least tries, <laughs> does Prince Philip. And I love Maleficent, she's one of the greatest villains in any Disney movie. She just is, isn't she? Um, yeah, I do really, really like this movie and it's really quite funny as well. So yes, definitely go and check it out. Okay, now on to number seven, which is Cinderella. Now, I didn't really like Cinderella as a child, but as I've got older, there's Disney movies that I prefer as an adult and this is one of them. And it came flying up my list in the last however many years. I love how, you know, she's very down on her luck. She's treated like crap by her step mother, stepsisters, and she has a pretty hard life, but she doesn't seem to let it get to her too much. She's always really positive, and I love the song I Dream Is Wish Your Heart Makes. I love the message behind the song. The movie is incredibly good. Love Jack and Gus Gus, and of course all the mice and everything about it. It's just such a good movie. So definitely check it out. The classics, the old ones, because this is number 12 just check them out because they are really good and they are incredibly underrated I think. So go check it out. Number six is yet again another princess movie. I know but it's Tangled. I love Tangled. I love Rapunzel. I love Flynn. I love Pascal. I even love Mother Gothel. She is so manipulative it's unreal. I love Maximus. I love all the stupid idiot men in the bar when they're singing about dreams. Um, the scene where she's trying to hide Flynn in the cupboard and constantly hitting him with the frying pan and falling out. I was in stitches the first time I seen that. I was like, I was laughing so hard at it. I don't know why. I just found it so funny. Um, and yet again, another amazing soundtrack. I See the Light, one of my top Disney songs ever. And I love Mandy Moore, who voices Rapunzel, so that definitely helped as well. So Rapunzel, number six. <clears throat> number five is Mulan. Very underrated yet again. Definitely underrated for a princess movie, Mulan is. I love this movie so much. I just do from start to finish. It's just a fantastic movie. And... You know, she might not be the perfect woman, but she's like, yeah, do you know what? Let's try and be a man for once. And she does. And I just love it. And the three guys, the big fat one, the tall skinny one, and then you've got the little dumpy one. Them three, they're really good as well. I love Mushu, of course, Eddie Murphy, the voice actor for him. Just so good. So, so good. I love this movie. It's so good. And the little cricket as well, the little cricket too. Yeah, definitely check Milano if you've not seen it. Very underrated princess movie. Definitely go and check it out. Number five. My number four is not a princess movie. It's a prince movie. It's Aladdin. For me, Aladdin it should just be called The Genie instead because the movie's all about the genie. This is why it's number four because it's all about the genie. Bless him, Robin Williams. This is actually a really good movie, despite the genie. Um, as you know, Princess Jasmine is not one of my favourite princesses. She's very near the bottom of my list. Um, yeah, Aladdin. It is a good movie. It is also another good soundtrack. I love Jafar and I love Iago. Together they are both really, really good. Jafar is one of my favourite villains. To be fair, I could probably say most of the villains are my favourite villains. Um, I just love all the villains. But Jafar is a really good villain. The movie is also really good as well. The genie, of course, makes the movie completely. Friend Like Me, another fantastic song, A Whole New World, an incredibly romantic song. It is just a really good movie. And I think it's the only movie where the prince is the lead in the movie. Um, because normally it's the princess. So I'm happy that you don't see much of Jasmine anyway. So yeah, Aladdin number four. And here we are, the top three. If anyone knows me, you'll know what my number one is, but maybe two and three, you're not so sure what I'm going to pick. In a number three, one of the most underrated Disney movies, in my personal opinion, and also one of the best, as it is my number three, is The Emperor's New Groove. Arr, I adore this movie. It's fantastic. It's funny. 
it's fantastic and it's funny, it's just amazing, I love this movie. Cusco is a very love or hate character yet again, but for me the movie is made by Isma. it's made by Pasha, no, Pacha, oh I'm so bad at the names. Anyway, Isma Kronk, they make the movie, Cusco is very irritating, but nah, the movie's still fantastic, I just love the movie, I'm not gonna say in um, Yzma's voice, you know, pull the lever cronk because I'll just murder it. So I'm just going to say pull the lever cronk. <laughs> it's so funny. I just love this movie so much. It's just a must see, um, especially the scene where they're in the little cafe and Yzma's going in one door and Cusco dressed as a woman as a llama is going out the other door and the menus up and down and yeah, just please watch this movie if you've not seen it. It's beyond underrated. Number three for me. Number two, The Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid, I love this movie yet again. I love the songs in this movie. Ariel is a little bit selfish in a way, but I love Ursula, of course. I love Eric, he's another, he, you know, they seem to sort of step up the princes through each movie. And Eric is a really good prince, and of course with Max, and then you've got the crazy French chef guy chasing after Sebastian. Why Sebastian has a Jamaican accent, I have no idea, but it's class. I love him. I think he's one of my favourite sidekicks, actually. Um, Flounder, he's like a wet blanket. Get rid of him, I don't care for him. But yeah, The Little Mermaid, it's such a good movie. And I do really like Ariel as well, so please go and check out The Little Mermaid. It is just a really good movie. And of course, Poor Unfortunate Souls by Ursula. Oh, it's just the best. It's just the best. It really is. My number one. You, you know what it is anyway. If you know me and you've watched any of my other videos, you will know that my number one Disney movie of all time is Beauty and the Beast. I think it's a lot of people's number ones. I know people say it's overrated. If you've noticed, Frozen is not in my list at all. Um, I don't think Beauty and the Beast is overrated. I think a movie is overrated if there's so much hype to a movie and then you watch it and you're like, oh. Whereas, you know, if somebody picked this movie up to me and I seen it, I'd be like, yeah, it's totally worth the hype. I've watched this from a young age and I still love it now. I love all the characters. The wardrobe needs a bigger part in the movie. She is hilarious. Completely hilarious. I love Lumiere, I love Codsworth, I love Belle, I love The Beast, I love Mrs. Potts, I love Chip. I love everyone in this movie. The wardrobe needs a bigger part though. I do love the scene where, you know, they're fighting in the castle, Gaston and, and you know, all the magical objects in the castle are all fighting and trying to save, you know, save their castle. It's just such a good movie. The transformation scene at the end of the movie, where of course Beast transforms into human beast or human prince, whatever you want to call him, that music sends shivers down my spine. I love it. It's incredible. And I may have teared up once or twice when watching that if I'm very much into the movie at the time. Um, yeah, I do love this movie so much. It's my number one. Just, yes. Yes. <laughs> now... That is my list, guys. That is my top 10, my three honorable mentions. Go and check all of these movies out. If you've not seen any of them, please go check them out. So that's it for another video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below some of your favorite Disney movies. Let me know if you agree with my list, disagree with my list, if you're not bothered about my list. Let me know either way. And also hit subscribe if you want to see more Disney videos from me. There will be a haul video going up also within the next week of this video going live. So stay tuned for that and bye for now.